Hola my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing a video that has been requested for those of you guys that are wanting to learn a little bit more about pendulums, how to use them, how to consecrate them, how to prepare them so that you can be able to connect with your spirit guides, with your ancestors, with any spirit that you're trying to contact to get clarity, insight, understanding or answers. So if you're definitely wanting to learn about that, stay tuned. Let's get into the video. Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing a video that has been highly requested. A lot of you guys have uh, messaged me, have contacted me wanting to know or get a video that speaks about how to work and how to cleanse and how to prepare a pendulum. Now for those of you guys that are unaware um, or it's your first time hearing about a pendulum, what exactly is a pendulum? So a pendulum is any form of any form of a chain, anything that has to do with, not necessarily a chain, sorry, um, an amulet, a crystal, anything that you can put in suspension, okay? And when I say anything, I mean literally anything. It can be a circle like you can see here. Um, you can use anything to uh inquire to speak to connect with spirit now a lot um i'm from mexican descent so for those of you guys that are of mexican or hispanic descent or latin descent i'm sure you have heard um a lot of great grandmothers you know when you find out that you first are pregnant they're the first ones to tell you oh do you want to know the sex of your child so what they would do is they would have you sit back, they would get a chain, it could be like a regular chain, uh, chain that they would wear, um, and they would just ask, you know, they would ask what is it that, that you were having, and it would move this way or it would move sideways, um, and they would give you the interpretation. They would basically let you know if it was a female or male uh, baby that you were having. Now, this is something that is very normal for us. It's a custom. Uh, they don't really see much to it, only that, you know, their great grandmother taught them how to do that. Uh, and it just goes down, you know, down the bloodline uh, as a practice. But what they're doing is basically they are asking or connecting with their spirits um, to be able to get clarification. Now, pendulums are. Uh, one of the many tools for us in the practice when we are when we are dowsing, when we are scrying, when we are uh, basically connecting with spirit and wanting to get answers, wanting to get yes or no answers. Um, so again, this is a tool that has been used throughout centuries in the practice. Everyone does it very differently. Like I said, it could be as simplistic as getting a thread and hanging something from it um, to a more elaborate, uh, you know, you can use uh, runes, uh, sigils, um, you can, you know, find a lot of these, uh, the crystal ones, amethyst, you can find a variety, a, you know, it doesn't really matter what you're using as a tool, the crucial and very important way of doing it is the cleansing and preparation of it. Now, why? Because you don't want to connect um, or attract spirits that are unwanted or spirits that are going to deceive you um, to be able to feed off of your energy. So there is a process to cleansing and preparing this um, to be able to use it as a tool for your practice and like i said anyone can use this you don't have to have um or i should say you shouldn't um have much experience you don't need much experience in the practice uh you could be a non-practitioner um and use this as a simple tool like i said to get a yes or no answer anyone can use pendulums anyone can use um, there are more elaborate ways of divination, um, of scrying, of dowsing, like that of using mirrors when we scry in the water. Those are more elaborate. It does, it does take more concentration, but anyone can use a pendulum. Anyone can get clarity. 
what I suggest for you guys to use these for is whenever you're feeling like you have to make a decision, whether it's a financial decision, whether it's in love, whether it's in romance, whether it's in health, whatever the situation is, and you really need clarity, and you're wanting, like I said, a yes or no answer, then this is the tool to use. I cannot tell you guys how many times um, uh, I have used this on my personal life when it comes to making major decisions, major purchases. Um, you get a lot of information, and like I said, uh, even for those of you guys that don't practice very much, you will definitely get um, yes or no answers which are not that difficult to interpret. Um, so basically, there are different steps to this. The first step that I'm going to teach you guys is how to ritualize and consecrate them. So what you're going to be needing is obviously a pendulum, whatever of your choice is. We have many of these on my online store for those of you guys that are interested. Um, so let's just say we're going to be using this one, right? And let me put these to the side. So what you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing a bowl with salt in it. Now salt is obviously we are incorporating all the elements into this cleansing and charging. It is very crucial and very important. Now earth obvious, sorry, salt is obviously earth element. So we are integrating that in the bowl. Have a candle burning on the side, uh, preferably depending on you know what you're going to be mostly using the pendulum for my advice is always go for a uh, lilac or purple um, candle because it is connected to the third eye chakra um, the crown chakra sorry and you do want to empower uh, the connection of your subconscious to your higher self um, which is you know a color that we use for intuition for psychic abilities to strengthen the connection etc so what you're also going to be needing is you're going to be needing some incense now for this particular um, for this particular uh, pendulum uh, charging and cleansing I would highly encourage you guys to use either fra uh, frankincense um, frankincense or uh, copal I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it in English. It's called in Spanish. It's called copal, uh, and we use that uh, very, very much uh, when it comes to cleansing, especially of that of spiritual nature. Whether it's to protect ourselves, whether it's to fight against evil, or whether it's to empower the tools that we use in the practice. So again, uh, it could be frankincense, um, uh, frankincense resin, or copal. Copal, copal, I don't know. I don't know how you say it in English, but I will show you the resin. So, all right. So you break it down, you powder it, and you put it in a um, in a burner and basically in a charcoal uh, tablet and you're burning, which is what you see right now. Um, also, you're going to be needing some type of water. Um, obviously, it could be any type. It could be tap water. Um, whatever water you have now if you want to empower and strengthen it I would encourage you guys to use moon water if you don't know what moon water is or are, are unsure how to make moon water I highly encourage you guys to follow me on Instagram as I'm constantly posting videos on there as well as on here on my YouTube channel how to make moon water how to do all kinds of stuff so you guys can follow me on there i recently made a video uh for the full moon um i was preparing some moon water and that's exactly what we have here so again like i said if you don't know how to prepare that you don't know about it go to my instagram uh, you'll see how to prepare that and it's perfect timing because we are in new moon um now so also what you're going to be needing is florida water now, for those of you guys that don't know what Florida water is, it is a cologne that is highly used in the practice. Uh, you can find this in any botanical shop, um, but you most definitely will find it in any type of Latin um, botanical shop. You can also find these on my online store. Um, anyways, this is great for spiritual baths, for protection, for cleansings. And especially when we are preparing tools and ingredients that we use in spell work, 
uh, you want to remove and cleanse any negative or excess negative energy you guys have to keep in mind that when you buy things at botanical shops at stores whatever it is the situation wherever it is that you're going people touch them you know they look at them they they pretty much put their energy in it whether they are aware of it or not and you want to make sure that you're removing that type of energy now for those of you guys that have gone to my online store and have purchased pendulums those pendulums already come prepared they are already ritualized you would not be able you would not need to do this however um i will teach you a little bit more of how to use them or how to work with them okay all right so we're going to start off here like i said um moon water florida water a candle and some incense in the background now if you really want to up it i would encourage you guys to get some eye bright powder now eye bright is used in the practice obviously um to see right to be able to see clearly to be able to uh, open someone's eyes or to open our own eyes to deception to be able to see through deception um eye bright mixed with the salt is very powerful why because you will be charging the pendulum here and what you're doing is you're bringing and igniting and empowering that psychic ability so that it could be easier for you to connect with your pendulum therefore easier for you to connect with your spirit guides your ancestors okay you don't need very much of it as you guys can see here And this has already been, I mean, all of these tools have already been prepared, but just for showing purposes, we're going to rub some on our hands and we're going to rub it on the pendulum. And you need to speak into the pendulum. Okay, you guys, this is crucial and this is important. And you, when using any tool of your practice, I call upon my spirit guides and ancestors. I ask you to be present, to empower, to strengthen uh, this pendulum that will be that I will be using as a tool of my practice to give me insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. Let it not be me who decides, but let it be you who speaks to me through this pendulum. Once you do that, you're going to put it right in the center. Now you're going to get some of the moon water. And you're going to sprinkle some water on there. Now you can say whatever prayer works for you. As an example, for me, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate. I bless and consecrate this pendulum as well as the salt, as well as that eyebrow so that it could become cohesive with one another, so that it can be in perfect harmony and in perfect balance, bringing to me the connection, closer connection to my spirit guides and ancestors. You have to make sure that you are, like I said, putting the intention, but also stating, only my spirit guides and ancestors may communicate with me through this pendulum. Any other entity that is unwelcome or that is not pure and genuine from my spirit army or from my ancestors is not welcome once you're done with that you're pretty much set now what you're going to do is you're going to get the bowl and you're going to pass it by the candle and you're going to say by the energy of the element of fire i cleanse and purify then you're going to pass it by the incense by the element of air I purify, strengthen, empower. All right, and we are set. What you're going to do is you have the opportunity to either charge it in the sun, meaning in the sunlight, or charge it in the moonlight. I prefer the moonlight, so what I would do is I would take this bowl outside and I will leave it by the moon uh, where the moon is shining. Um, so that it can be empowered, so that it can be strengthened. After three days, I bring it back inside. It is crucial and important. If you're doing it by the sun, put it out early in the morning when the sun is about to go down. 
you go back inside, I mean back outside, you get your bowl and bring it inside, keep it in your altar till the next day you put it out early in the morning. It's vice versa if you're doing it by the moonlight. So you would take it out at night when the moon is out, leave it out there for hours before sunrise, before the sun comes out, make sure to take it inside. Um, do not let it be touched by the sun. So whatever it is that you're working with, make sure not to allow the the opposite, right? Which is would be the moon or the sun, whatever you're working with, um, to basically to, to ray, to charge it. Because if you're doing it by the moon and you forget it outside and it's by the sun and the sun touches it, the rays um, of the sun's rays, um, then it is the empowerment of the amulet is therefore uh, void. It is broken, so you're going to have to redo the process. You're going to do this for three consecutive nights or three consecutive days. After that, you bring it inside and you're set. You're ready to go. You're ready to use it. Okay? All right. Now, when we're talking about how to use the pendulums, like I said, you can keep it as simplistic as yes or no answers. Um, as an example, the example I was giving you guys earlier about, you know, the grandmothers that tell you you want to know what you're having, if you're having a boy or a girl. When you are about to begin using the pendulum, you can ask your spirit guides. Spirit guides, um, if you don't want to be the one to tell them what direction means what, you can ask them, spirit guides, please give me the direction of the yes. What would be the yes? give me the yes so you see that it's up and down so that's the yes for them spirit guides please give me the no what is the no you see that side to side side to side is no so up and down is yes side to side is no but that's how i do it um they're just clarifying that <laughs> so anyways um if, as an example, if you want to be the one to tell them, let's just say, uh, let up and down be no. Show me the no, right? Um, and if you're the one that's telling them, like I said, you would say up and down is no. Up and down is no. And then you would ask them, please show me the no. And more than likely, if you're telling them what it's going to be, it's going to go up and down and vice versa, okay? Now keep in mind, um, the way to interpret this is, like I said, if you want to tell them exactly what what means what, as an example, up, down means yes to me, side to side is no, um, and circle, right, when it starts to go around, to me that indicates uncertainty. To me that indicates that there are things behind the scenes that are still happening and the outcome of that is not set in stone as of yet. So it's something that has to continuously keep evolving. Um, now, for instance, if you are asking if you're going to have a, you know, a girl or a boy and you tell them that the yes is for a girl, the no is for a boy, and it gives you the circle, again, we go back to that of understanding that it is not your place to know as of yet what it's going to be. Um, be respectful, you guys, when dealing with pendulums, when dealing with anything that has to do with divination. Approach it not with fear, but with major respect. Um, whenever they give you answers that are not answers that you really want to hear, or perhaps that really upset you, um, if you start to notice to the, you're feeling a bit stronger, uh, whether it's like getting annoyed, getting upset, whatever the situation is, make sure to put the pendulum away and to thank your spirits. It's very important, very crucial, and I know it's very simple to say, oh, that would never happen to me, but you have to keep in mind that when you're connecting with the spirit realm, um, there will be situations where your energy is a little bit more stronger than usual, and that also implies emotion. So again, don't ever approach the pendulum uh, to ask it a question when you are upset, when you're angry, because keep in mind that that's the energy that you're putting into uh, the pendulum and you don't want that. You have to make sure that 
you're approaching it with love you're approaching it with an open heart to receive whatever truth they're wanting to give to you okay i hope that i've clarified that very very important um because a lot of people you know will tell me you know i feel like it's not working anymore um and then you know they kind of go back and think about it and the last few times that they've used it they've either been in a very wrong state of mind or very upset so you don't want to do that because if you do you would have to continuously keep uh cleansing your pendulum and you don't want to do that either um, always approach it with love and with respect like i said you this is a very powerful and beautiful tool um, for those of you guys that are wanting to become closer to your spirituality this is a very beautiful way of connecting with your spirit guides um, before I even got into you know channeling which was probably I mean channeling is something that I've been doing probably since I was a little girl I was just not aware of it at that point um, but when I really got into deep channeling and uh, really being able to learn um, a lot of like astral projection and stuff like that these were this was very important and very crucial for me I used it as a beautiful tool to connect with my spirit guides so that they may give me answers that perhaps I wasn't being able to uh, receive wholeheartedly because again you guys have to keep in mind you're human you know and at the end of the day your ego sometimes gets involved and so this is a very clear way of getting your answers i've had this i've had this uh pendulum for a very very long time as you guys can see it's like really old um but yeah you guys are really gonna enjoy the more you learn how to use it the more you learn how to practice with it um it becomes a very important crucial tool in our practice so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, share, and comment. And I wish you guys the very best. Definitely comment below. Let me know your experiences. I'm always interested in hearing you guys' feedback and uh, knowing how things are progressing. I wish you guys the best, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.